Hello, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and today we're going to talk about evaluating expressions. So I'm going to jump right to an example. Um, when you evaluate an expression, what you're doing is you're given some expression and you're given a value for x or whatever letter is in your expression. What you have to do to evaluate it is you need to plug in the value for x and use order of operations to figure out what value it is. So that's what we're going to do in this case. I'm going to plug in negative 3 everywhere I see an x. So I have 2 minus negative 3 squared over negative 3 minus 2. Anytime I'm plugging in a value for a variable, I use parentheses. It's a pretty good practice to keep in mind, and then just for me, it helps me take care of negatives and understand um, the difference between negative and positive numbers. So now we can start evaluating it and calculating this value. So order of operations says you can do um, parentheses and then exponents. So we have 2 minus 9, because negative 3 squared is 9. And then the bottom, we don't have any exponents or multiplication or division or anything, so we're just going to go ahead and do negative 3 minus 2, which is negative 5. We got to keep going though because we don't have a number or a fraction or we still have stuff we have to further simplify. So 2 minus 9 is negative 7 and negative 5 on the bottom. Now a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So really instead of writing negative 7 over negative 5, I can just write it as 7 over 5. And that's going to be my final answer when I calculate the value of this expression when x is negative 3. So let's try one more example with two variables, and we'll um, go through that. All right, calculate the value of this expression when a is 3 and b is negative 2. So I'm going to go through the same procedure. I'm going to use parentheses to plug in these values for a and b, and then I'm going to use order of operations to figure out what it is. So let's see. A is 3, B is negative 2. So I have 3, negative 2 squared plus 3, negative 2 minus 3 squared, negative 2. All right, so now I've used parentheses. I can go ahead and start evaluating this. Negative 2 squared is positive 4, so, and 3 times 4 is 12. I'm going to kind of go through a couple steps at a time here. Plus 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And then, let's see, minus 3 squared is 9, and 9 times negative 2 is negative 18. All right, so now what I have is what are called double signs. I need to take care of those and change them into just one sign. 12 plus a negative is the same thing as minus a positive. So it's like 12 plus negative 6 is just the same thing as 12 minus 6, which is 6. Minus negative 18 is the same thing as plus positive 18. So I get 18. And then I can add those two up. 6 plus 18 is going to get me 24. So that's going to be the final value when I calculate the expression using a is 3 and b is negative 2. I hope this helps when you come to these types of examples. Remember, plug in your variables, plug in the values that they equal, use parentheses, and use order of operations. Good luck. Visit us at GEDES.com. For future tips and videos, be sure to subscribe and follow.